Okay, let's move on to our second report. This should be for Israel, I believe. Okay. Israel. Okay, it's good one report for the nation of Israel. Israel is another one of those small countries that's been struggling with cases and even, uh, even some deaths late recently. And they're actually in the midst of a two-week lockdown, which we'll see if, uh, over the course of the next two weeks whether it actually helps or not. Okay. So first, let's look at the mortality rate. The average mortality rate is about here. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Okay, let's do this. Okay, good. One more once. Okay. Average cases per day, 1,019. Average deaths per day, I'll say, let's call it seven. Now we can come down here, we can look at the mortality rate. Let's see. We actually, do we actually calculate the mortality rate? Let's do this. Now let's take the uh, U.S. colon. The average mortality rate is currently what, seven percent or seven tenths of a percent. Okay, the current mortality rate is about seven tenths of a percent. Okay, which is this here. We have some we have some days below this. We also have some spikes above it, going up as high as five uh, percent at one point. Well, the range seems to be more between uh, between the average here and this up here. So again, it's it's kind of hard at times to actually uh, understand the mortality rate simply because of the volatility. We could certainly do something like a uh, a smooth fit, okay, a smooth fit of, of some type, all right. But we'll save that for another time. And I just uh, close the report at your own time. Okay. This is. Uh, Israel's cases per day. You can see they had this long climb up here. Now there's now there's seen some declining cases. Okay, the trend line is down in cases, even a 14-day average is climbing down, which is interesting. I guess it means there's more down days, and there are these the number of decreasing days are are, are greater than the number of spikes days of spikes. Yes, as you can see, a clear climb up to almost 40, above 40 here in a couple of days. But the average seems to be pointing down a little bit. The low as line seems to be starting to trend down a little bit. Okay. This is a close up of the current spike, which began in June or July. 
you can see the uh, the moving average line here. Okay. Even though we had this huge spikes, the, the 14 day moving average is seeming as if it's declining. This is deaths once again with the 14 day moving average, showing a little flattening out here. All right. Cases definitely. Well, here's the thing. We could very easily finish up the week below this number here, and maybe even below this number here. Okay? And who knows, maybe even below this number here. It's going to be a little tight. Okay? That's cases. Deaths, as you can see, are showing a little bit of a decline. This line here is 100. So, so far this week, you have 100 deaths plus deaths. Which isn't good, okay? Uh, this line here would be 125. So deaths are increasing a little bit, but the overall death, uh, I don't know, the, the total number of deaths as compared to their population may not be that great, okay? Monthly numbers, you can see that September numbers just basically blew our bus out of the water. October numbers are of already past July and August cases. Deaths, well, we've almost, we're, we're, we're only, what, nine days into the month, and we've already passed uh, July's deaths. We're closing in on August deaths. Okay, we, since we, we could even catch and pass September deaths, unless something changes swiftly. So that takes, that takes care of the nation of Israel for today, for October the 9th. Hope this report was both encouraging to you and also lightning. Finally, if you haven't done so already, Please click the red S button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click on and, uh, and click on the subscribe button. Thanks so much for your time. We'll catch you on the next report.